Hi, it's Kevin from TakeAHakeGPS.com. You're probably wondering why we're inside filming in my bathroom today. And the reason is that we're getting ready to see just how waterproof your typical handheld GPS unit really is. Most of the handheld GPS units for outdoor use on the market today are advertised as being waterproof to something called the IPX7 standard. What this means is that you should be able to drop the GPS in three feet of water leave it there for 30 minutes and have it work just fine afterwards. So we're going to do a little uh, scaled down version of that test today. This five gallon bucket here is filled almost to the top with cold water but it's only about two feet deep not three feet so it's not quite up to the IPX7 uh, standard for testing but it'll be a, a good simulation of that at any rate. The unit we're testing today is the Magellan uh, Triton 300 GPS and as you can see the uh, unit has actually been having some software problems. All it will do is turn on and come up to this menu screen that you see here. So as far as I'm concerned if it can at least do that after we complete the test uh, it will have passed in my book. So we've got the, uh, the water ready, we've got the GPS ready. Uh, water's nice and cold, about 60 degrees, same temperature as your typical mountain spring in summertime. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and uh, drop in the GPS and start our timer. See you in 30 minutes. Okay, so one problem that we noticed very quickly in the test is that the GPS unit actually floated, which is not something I expected. Uh, and it's not something that the manufacturer advertised for this particular unit either, um, which you think they would. But we did not want the unit to float, we wanted it to sink because the, the test is conducted under a uh, submersion level of one meter, or about three feet. So we wanted to get to the bottom of this uh, bucket, which is actually only two feet. So we went ahead and tied it to a, a 10 pound weight and uh, sure enough that didn't float too well. So it's now sitting comfortably at the bottom of the bucket and we'll check back on it in about 30 minutes. Okay, so the moment of truth has arrived. The 30 minutes is up. Uh, so we're gonna take the GPS unit out of the bucket, dry it off and uh, see if the thing still works. to tie it to that 10 pound weight so it would sink to the bottom. Alright, so far so good that the uh, GPS unit is still on. Much to my surprise, I thought the, um, the batteries being in that cold water for 30 minutes may have just turned off and would have to at least dry it off before it would uh, keep working, but it's actually still on. And the keys are, uh, sure enough, the keys are still functioning. So this, this thing passed the test with flying colors. Um, much to my surprise, I have to admit, I did not expect it to uh, do that well. So there you have it folks, the handheld GPS uh, IPX7 Waterproof standard is uh, a gold standard. And if you're uh, hiking with these units and you drop them in a stream or whatever, then uh, you should be able to pick them right up and keep on trucking, which is not something you could say for uh, your iPhone with those GPS apps on it. So I guess in summary, the uh, two things that impressed me most about this test were number one, we actually had to tie the unit to a weight to get synced to a bottom. It, it floated at first which uh, surprised me. And second, it did in fact work just fine after we pulled it out of the water after sitting at the bottom of the bucket for 30 minutes. So all in all, a successful test. Thanks again for watching and have a nice day.